Hi, this is Vibeke from Diving Dogs Crochet. Today I want to show how I made this top. It's actually quite basic, it's just single crochet all the way. We will begin with the brim on the bottom and then work our way up with single crochet. The special thing about this top is these color changes. Usually when we change color we just grab the new color yarn and then begin crocheting, but then we will get these bumpy color changes. When we do it this way, we will actually do a half color change be before we do the complete color change and then work this white part. I will show you, I will show you this in a size. I will leave a link in the description of the pattern for all the other sizes. But again, you can follow this tutorial even if you're a beginner. I will go forward very slowly and explain everything I'm doing. So, let's begin. First a little about the materials. I've used this 100% cotton yarn in a size 8.4. It's a sport weight 2. It's a very fine yarn. I've of course used most of this white yarn, but I've also used some other different colors for the color changes. I will write in the description which colors I've used and also how much yarn you will need for this. Then I've used a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and some scissors. And then finally, I've used a tapestry needle to weave in the ends. So you make a loop with your yarn, take the long end of the yarn behind the loop, then grab it from the middle with your hook, and pull. And we chain 11, so yarn over, and pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through 11 times. This is three, so four, five, six, ten, and eleven. So that's it. Now we're going to work in these chains. First, you skip the first one, move on to the second one, and do a single crochet into this. So insert your hook in the second chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. In the next stitch also single crochet, so yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. Then insert your hook through the next chain, do a single crochet. And all the way to the other end, we do one single crochet in every chain. We chained up 11 and we skipped the first one when we turned. So you should have 10 single crochet when we're all the way at the end. This is your final chain. This one out here, that's your slip knot. You will never be working into this one. So. Ten single crochet. And you have your loop back here, furthest away. You still skip the first stitch, your turning chain. Then you go to the second one and insert your hook through the back loop only. So in between these two, you grab the back loop and then you yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. All right. In the next stitch, also a back loop single crochet. So insert your hook through the back loop and do a single crochet. And then one back loop single crochet all the way to the other end. And again, you should have 10 stitches when you're all the way at the end. And the 
This is your final stitch. Now have 10 stitches. And we chain one. And turn the whip. And we now do a repeat of the previous row. So you skip the first to insert your hook through the back loop only and single crochet. And you continue this way until you are done with your brim. With bottom of the top. And there is 50 of these little bumps if you count them. There's also 50 on the back side. So that's 100 rows in total. We're now done with the brim and we will now be working horizontally. So we turn the work and begin working back and forth on this brim. So we begin with a chain one, so yarn over and pull through. Now we do one single crochet in every row, so you should have 100 single crochet when we're all the way at the end. We do one single crochet for each row, so each time you have this little bump, you do a single crochet, and also in between the bumps, you also do a single crochet. So your first one is this bump right here, so you insert your hook on top of this bump, and then you do a single crochet. And then in between the bumps, you push in your hook and do a single crochet. And then in this one, push in your hook and single crochet. And in between the bumps, you also single crochet. So just continue all the way to the end until you have 100 single crochet. One single crochet in each row. When you're all the way at the end, you chain one and then you chain. Then you skip the first one, move on to the second stitch. So you skip your turning chain and then you insert the hook through the second stitch and do single crochet and then you just do one single crochet in every stitch all the way across. At the end you chain one and turn your work and work the other way with one single crochet in every stitch. So your first row is the row you did on the brim right here. So this is your first row. You just begin your second row and then do your third row. So three rows and then we do our first color change. So I just changed the surface on the table. I hope that's okay. And I finished the first three rows with the white yarn and then I have this perfect color change with the black yarn, which is not that camera friendly. So I chose to do this off cam. And then I did four rows with the white yarn. And then we have a new color change with the blue yarn, who's a lot more friendly. And I will show you how to do this perfect color change. So after I finished the final row, almost, we have one stitch to go. I will show you all of it again, but with the blue yarn. So we have the final stitch right here, which is also a single crochet. So we yarn over and pull through once. And then before we finish the stitch, we get this new color, which is the blue yarn. And then we grab this one and pull through both instead of the white yarn. So now we switch colors and we will chain one. And then turn the work. And then we will still have the white yarn to work with. So this is a little bit tricky to crochet, but it's all worth it because you get this perfect stripe. So 
So now you have your first stitch, you have your turning chain with the blue. You skip this one and then move on to this first white stitch. And we insert the hook in the first white stitch, the second stitch of the round. And then we grab the white yarn and pull through. And then we grab the blue yarn and pull through too. All right. So we have both colors on our fingers and we insert the hook in the next stitch. Then we yarn over with the white yarn and then we yarn over with the blue yarn and then pull through both. And then we have to pull this white yarn down. So we tighten up the stitch below. Then in this next stitch, we insert the hook, then we yarn over with the white yarn and pull through. Then we yarn over with the blue yarn and pull through too. And then we tighten up this white yarn. So we're actually doing a half color change. So only the top of the stitch is going to be this, this blue yarn and the bottom part of the stitch is the white yarn. So insert the hook, yarn over with the white yarn and pull through the white part of the stitch. Then yarn over with the blue yarn and pull through both loops. Then in the next insert, then yarn over with the white yarn, pull through the white, then yarn over with the blue one and pull through both and tighten up. So keep doing this all the way to the other end and then there's something new coming for the next row. And then the final stitch, the same. And then we just chain one with the blue yarn to turn the row. Then we can cut this white yarn. We will not be needing that for this next row. And we just chained one and we can now turn the work. And then this next row will be a row of regular single crochet. So we skip this turning chain and move on to this second stitch and insert the hook through the stitch just like a regular single crochet. But the stitches feels a little bit different than regular single crochet because they kind of lies on the back side of the work instead of on top. So they are a little bit more tough to insert the hook into. But you will just be doing plain regular single crochet with both the front loop and the back loop of the stitch on top of the needle or the hook sorry and then regular single crochet and you see the front side is perfect stripe so just a regular single crochet in every stitch all the way to the other end Again, they are a little bit more, a little bit tricky to insert the hook into, but you need both the front loop and the back loop. And then again, in the final stitch, we push through the stitch, yarn over with the blue yarn, pull through, and then we find the white yarn again and grab this one and pull through the rest of the stitch to finish it up with the white one. Then we chain one with the white yarn and turn the wick. We will now do a half color change again just like the other row, the first row with the color change. And exactly the same way as before. 
so. We have this white turning chain and then we have the first stitch as the blue stitch over here. So we insert the hook through this first blue stitch. Then we yarn over with the blue yarn. Pull through. And then yarn over with the white yarn and pull through both. And then we tighten up the blue yarn. Then in the next stitch, insert the hook, yarn over with the blue yarn, pull through, then yarn over with the white yarn and pull through both. And then tighten up the blue yarn. Then the next stitch, insert the hook, yarn over with the blue yarn, pull through, yarn over with the white yarn, pull through both. And tighten up the blue yarn. Then insert, yarn over with the blue one, pull through, then yarn over with the white yarn, pull through both. And this is how we continue for the rest of this row. So insert, yarn over with blue, pull through, yarn over with white, pull through both, tighten up the blue one, all the way to the other end. And after the final stitch of this row, we chain one with the white yarn and then we cut the blue yarn. We will not be needing that anymore. Throw that away and then we turn the work. And then we do a row of regular single crochet. So you skip the first one and then you insert your hook through this second and this will again be a little bit more tricky than other regular single crochet because it kind of lies on the back side of the work. So the stitches are a little bit more tough to insert the hook into, but it is plain and simple single crochet through the front loop and the back loop of these stitches you see right here. white yarn only. And at the end of the row you chain one and then turn the work and you have this perfect stripe. So for the next four rows you just do one single crochet in every stitch with this white yarn until the next color change. So now four rows with the white yarn back and forth, single crochet. Remember chain one every time you turn and then skip your turning chain. And then you do your next color change, which is this red one for me. So just repeat what I showed you at this blue one and then repeat 10 stripes. I have 10 stripes in total. And then up here I, had, I did 14 rows with just white color. And this measures. all the way to the top, 37 centimeters. All right. I don't have a color chart because I'm really just using up my scraps, but it's black and then a turquoise and a dark red one, an orange, and then there's some rusty orange color for this one. So now I will weave in my ends. And now it's pretty. I wish it was that easy. So now we have the front panel and you will make another one, which will be the back panel. Just make it just the same as this one and put that aside because we will be working on the front panel. And you have your 100 stitches up here. Now you will count 50 stitches in. So count from here all the way and leave a marker at the 50th and then we will grab some yarn and attach in this next one. So we have 50 stitches over here and 50 stitches over here. So attach the yarn and we will now be working up 
by the boobs. We can just leave this, you know, where it is because we just attached the yarn. I tied a knot right here. So just secure the yarn after you tied a knot, then chain one, and then do one single crochet for 38 stitches. So just one, two, three, four, five, all the way until you have 38 single crochet. When you have 38 stitches, you have a lot of stitches to go. You will just ignore those because now we will turn the work. Usually we chain one before we turn, but we want to decrease from now on. So you just turn your top. without chaining and then you skip your first stitch and move on to your second stitch so skip the first one and in the second stitch you single crochet and then you continue one single crochet all the way back to the middle where we started with the 50 stitches and here we are at the knot in the middle we will do our final stitch. So now we started with 38 stitches, then we decreased one over here. So we have 37. Now we will again um, turn, but don't chain one, just turn. And then again, skip the first one, move on di directly to the second stitch and single crochet. So now we decreased another one and, and we have 36 stitches. This is how you will continue back and forth every time you get to the end of the row. You turn and you don't chain one, you just turn and then skip your first stitch and move on to the second and single crochet back and forth. So we decrease slowly all the way up in a triangle until we only have six stitches left on the top. Then we want to continue with the strap. So now we will chain one before we turn because we will stop decreasing. Then we turn and then we skip that, this chain we just did and then do one single crochet in the next. Then one single crochet all the way to the other end. All six stitches. So just one single crochet in every stitch all the way across. So we have the six stitches. And we chain one. And we turn the top again. Then we skip this chain, move on to this second one, insert the hook and continue. Just like this, back and forth. And you keep having six stitches because we will now turn with a turning chain instead of leaving this turning chain. So just continue back and forth. So you still have six stitches going forward. And continue until your strap is long enough. I continued for 68 rows back and forth. And my strap measures, let me see. 27 centimeters beginning from the edge down here. So 27 centimeters and that's 68 rows back and forth. So now you cut the yarn, leaving a bit of a tail and then pull through the loop. And then we continue to the other side over here. So now we want to make another triangle up and another strap just on the other side. So you count from the middle 38 stitches and then attach the yarn out here with the 38 stitch and then you work your way back and forth just like on this side where you decrease in every row all the way up until you only have 6 stitches left to go. And then you work the same number of rows as you did on the other strap. I did 68 rows. Maybe you have hmm, taller shoulders or something. I don't know. But I did 27 centimeters. So 
repeat over here what you did over here and then you will have two triangles with straps. So now you have your front side and your back side all done. If you put them down flat like this, you will now sew them together. So put them on top of each other with the wrong side facing out and make a seam all the way from the bottom to the armpits. And then you have this, this Strap on the back side. Make sure it doesn't twist. And just find the right spot on the back side. Grab your tapestry needle and sew this on as well on both sides. And with the straps attached, we actually have a top, but I just want to do the final finish. So I will do two rounds of single crochet all the way around. So I grab the yarn yet again, and then I begin in the armpit. You can begin wherever you like. So I just attach the yarn just with a simple knot. And then I work a round of single crochet. So first chain one, and then just one single crochet in a stitch all the way around so all the way up here up here and on the edge of the straps all the way to the back side and around and when you make it to this point again you do another round of single crochet so you have two rounds in total you will also do it in the middle part and on the other side so you have two rounds of single crochet all the way around so this will also close up a bit more okay and when you're done you see your edge is a lot nicer also on the straps and then you're done just weave in your ends and you have your top i hope you found this tutorial easy to follow if you did please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i hope to see you again soon bye Thank you.